Okay, I'm here with Kyle, who is um, just curious as to why I was filming Speedy Cash. Kyle, can you tell me about your relationship with Speedy Cash? Well, I've, I've owed them quite a lot of money, and um, because, because it's gone up a amount a lot, I've not, I've not paid it back because I can't afford to pay it back, so I've had to leave it. And why did you have to go to Speedy Cash for a loan? Because I didn't have, I didn't have um, anywhere else to get money from. Were you so, desperate for yeah, money? Yeah, desperate for it, and that's why I ended up taking it, mate. Yeah, and, and what's happened since? It happened since I've ended up getting in more debt, and it, I keep getting loads of letters, keep getting knocked at the door and everything like that. But it's their, it's their fault, do you know what I mean? They're, yeah. they're preying on um, young, young people and everything, vulnerable people to give them loans to, to get them interest and get more back. Top Thanks, down, Kyle. Man. Appreciate it. All the best, man. Yeah, man. I told you not to film me. That's okay. We're in public property now. It's all right. No, you're not. You're still on private property. Please don't threaten me. I I'm feel I feel I'm slightly threatened. alarmed. I feel slightly alarmed I'm by. Well, I feel quite alarmed when somebody starts camering the. Uh, no, but I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I, I anyway, let's start on the, 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 Let's start again. My name's Charlie. I'm from the internet. I'm doing a special report because cash. Have you seen, Have you heard of Bank of Dave? Yeah, yeah. Well, Banker Dave did a thing about, like, about, and I think this is wrong. This is taking advantage of poor people. I'm a financial advisor. I still don't understand how money works. You expect these people here in Salford Precinct? How do we know you're a financial advisor? How do we know you this? Well, how you can look we up the you? FSA website. I'm how, not lying to you. How do we know you're not filming this for the reasons? Oh, what other reasons would I be filming it for? We don't know. Okay, right. Okay. You don't know this. You're, you're not allowed to film, you're not allowed to film, film on this. Oh, of course I am. It's nothing against you. Yeah. You do it to anybody. Okay, well, well, let's just say, like, okay, because I'm a reporter. If I film you guys, you cannot physically assault me, okay? Have I, have I, have I no, 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 no. But, but if you? this camera slowly turns don't, round, don't you, can't, you can't touch me because this is a lesser thing than you guys touching me. You understand? I'm, I'm a tough shot. I'm no, but it's not against you guys. But yeah, but don't take their side. I'm it's kind of. taking their side. I'm doing my job at the end of the I'm day. I'm doing my job as well. I appreciate Like I've got kids to feed and stuff. You guys got kids to feed. Well, We're all doing a hard thing, but this company doesn't make life any easier for people. Well, we need to stop filming because we don't allow it. It's not just against No, but you understand, sometimes in journalism, it might not be allowed, but you have to do it from a moral. Yeah, but have to because he's not listening to a word. Okay, okay, right, right. I'll stop filming. I'll stop filming. You don't have to call the cops. It's a waste of cop time. <laughs> For thousands of years, human beings have known that loan sharking and money lending can be a great source of evil. It can prey on the poor. It can, uh, you know, tempt people in very difficult and under pressure circumstances. And this is get this out in the open. I have four A levels. I have a master's degree and I have a certificate in financial advice. And I don't yet understand how money really works. And when you've got people from vulnerable backgrounds, from poor backgrounds, with low education and low hope, and they happen to live around what I call Soviet Union Housing Unit 6, Salford Shopping Center, you get the proliferation of loan sharks and money lending payday loan companies. And I, for one, am horrified by this. And who am I? I'm just a pair of eyes from the universe with my small photon collection device. So what we're going to do today, in one take, we're just going to go bear witness and ask them the right questions. Ladies and gentlemen, loan shark number one, the money shop. Borrow 100 pounds, it turns into 200 pounds after not very long. Hi guys, I'm, d I'm from the internet, I'm doing a special report, I just need to ask the manager. Oh no, it's um, it's a special report. No, can you please turn that off? I'm afraid that because I, I feel what I'm doing is very important, I need to speak to the manager here. I'm going to speak to the Because, you know, I don't blame you. You might not understand the evil that you're doing here, but um, you shouldn't be loan sharking poor people at Salford Precinct like this. It's not right. And uh, this camera and the 20,000 people that might be watching this represent the witnesses, because at least what we can do is bear witness to this great evil. I mean, this is one of the tamer ones, but 150% interest and this guy off the TV. But the way it works, let's just, let's just talk for a bit here. These companies exist because people swap one big problem for an either, even bigger problem. Let's say you're behind on your gas payment or your electricity payment, what actually happens is, is you panic and instead of owing British gas, say, 200 pounds, you end up owning these guys 350 pounds. 
And just like doing a pact with the devil, as a metaphor, as a metaphor, you sign away their right to go into your bank account and recover future money. So you might think, oh my God, I've escaped this company. But they, by making you sign this form in your desperation, they have the legal right to go into your account and take your money out. And like the people working here, I mean, we all have to pay the bills, we've all got kids to feed, but it, it's not right. Obeying orders from people who are doing evil is not right, madam, and you know that. You shouldn't be working in a company like this. I would rather be on the dole and struggling than taking advantage of poor people who are not financially literate. Can I please speak to the manager? What I need you to do is I need you to leave the store okay. before we phone security okay. and afraid. Okay. You can't call in to come in with a camera and put it in, in our faces. I'm oh no, afraid. I can and I have done. But madam, I am leaving. I will not stay when I'm not welcome. Of course I'm leaving, but before I do, it's not right to follow orders from people that take advantage of poor people. You shouldn't be doing this. I know we all have to pay the bills, but you shouldn't be working here. This is not right to do this to poor people, and you know it. Well, you know it. Can I please ask you to, to, I'm leaving. to leave the store? I am leaving. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Okay. That's them. We just have to bear witness. We know, in, as I was saying, in this lifetime or the next, someone will pay for these great crimes because everyone's watching. You're watching. I'm watching. And like, it's not right to do this. Hi, I'm Adam. How are you? I'm just giving the cash loan companies a hard time. You know these payday loan companies? Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, what do you think about them? I don't know where I stand with them at the moment, whether I actually own them anyway, you know. Well, never use them. They're like snakes. They're like sharks. They'll take over your life. Oh, man. It's solving one problem with a bigger problem. A camera so that I can put it on YouTube and everyone can see. Me giving them a hard time, because someone has to. Yeah. Here we go. Are you going in? Okay, we'll go in this way. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is cash loans. I mean, it doesn't get <laughs> more affordable than 2,000% looking for cash. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, please don't be alarmed. My name is Charlie, I'm from the internet. I'm here doing a special report because I consider these companies a great evil and you should not be working here. I know you don't own Speedy Cash, but just saying you're following orders is not a defense against taking advantage of poor people. It's not right what you guys are doing. And you know it. It's better to be unemployed than to take advantage of poor people. Do you think this is a laughing matter, madam? Making poor people destitute? Is it a laughing matter? You know, you guys have the authority because you tempt poor people. Sorry? A biscuit? Are you trying to patronize me, madam? Do you not understand I'm doing a report because your company is evil? Your company hurts people, and what I'm doing is bearing witness to that. You're offering me a biscuit. Okay, what I'd really like is to speak to the manager, because I understand you guys are only following... You're the manager. Do you think what you're doing as a job is, is right, morally? Madam, it's not right. Come on. Do you have children? Do you have children? Oh no, I, I am leaving. I'm not. I'm not going to commit any civil or criminal like crimes here. But, madam, are you threatening me with physical assault? No, I'm not doing anything. No, madam, look, what it is is like I'm here in the open world, yeah, and you're in there loan sharking against poor people. Guys, I am leaving. I'm not going to break any criminal or civil laws. Okay, no problem, but I am leaving. Please don't touch me. Okay, guys, they've called security on me, but I'm not breaking any criminal laws. No, you're not allowed to be private doing anything. This is a private Okay, until the owner tells me I can't. No, I'm telling you now. Yeah, but I'm telling you that I'm leaving, so it's okay. Anyway, it's not against you guys. It's not against you guys. Anyway, that company in there is evil and should not be doing that. 
There you go, ladies and gentlemen, that's how you do it. Thank you, Phil.